girls' night out. She's going out for girls' night. You better lock her in the basement or else she's going to cheat on you. <laughs> uh, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, um, notification bell, all that good stuff. All right, so I was on Rich Cooper, my friend, over at Entrepreneur in Cars. And we talked about the jealousy drive. That's going to be something we're going to talk about more on our channel. That is a, a dynamic in the sexual marketplace that's not talked about enough because the jealousy drive, which is a primal drive in males, well, and in females too, um, dictates and a lot of behaviors. It, it frames a lot of behaviors that men do all over the spectrum. And so we need to understand that jealousy drive a little more. And that came up with a question of some actionable advice with what if your girl is getting dolled up to go for a girl's night out? What do you do? And of course, this is the infamous uh, discussion. I don't know if, if the, I don't know who brought this up. Was this, was, was this uh, Rolo Tomasi bringing this one up? Or how it became a discussion in these circles of what to do with a girl's night out, basically. <laughs> I can't remember. It's talked about so much. And it's always don't let her go out on a girl's night out. And so guys kind of look at that and they're not, I know guys are not actioning that advice in the right way or at all in their relationships. And I don't think guys have the right framework for this at all. And then out outsiders, people outside of like, red pill circles and forums and stuff, especially women, will look at this idea of don't let her go on a girl's night out. She'll look at this as, as insane. And it, it makes sense because it, it is insane if you execute it the way some guys talk about executing the standards. So we got to clear some things up so you can have productive relationships with women and not be a controlling D-bag or a, a weak mate protecting type of a person, but also setting standards of behavior too, so that you're not getting cheated on or walked on or putting up with things that are just not acceptable from your with your partner, right? So there's a, a fine line between the two. First things first is that isolation, at least from friends, family, whatever, is not healthy or good. You never want to isolate your woman from other people in, in her social circles. Now, some guys are going to tell you differently, you know, that you have to do this or else she's going to cheat. It's just a, what she's going to do. Look, if she's going to cheat, she's going to cheat. Better to find out early than later on when you're invested, okay? So maintain frame, watch your behavior. If she demonstrates cheating behaviors, get rid of her. That's pretty simple. Don't commit to somebody unless they've demonstrated the ability to bond, all right? So those things are kind of important rules there. But you have to understand that women developed on a primal level, they evolved with maneuvering around social circles starting with tribes as we you know as we evolved as a species into city states and into communities women are very good socially compared to men uh, women maneuver around social circles generally speaking okay uh, better than men because of their internal wiring if you cut off a woman's social abilities and circles it signals death to her because women as we evolved, were evolved to survive based on social standing and social circles. If she was with a man that got killed in combat or on a hunt, for example, it was the tribe that had to take care of her and the children. If she couldn't maneuver around social circles, she could get discarded by that tribe or by that community and then she would, you know, not survive and her offspring wouldn't survive. So to not be able to, to be disallowed to maneuver around socially is a very damaging thing to a woman. So to try to control her and to leverage the relationship to control her social circles, don't do it. Okay, it's not healthy. What you want to do is you want to pick a woman who is maneuvering around socially in a positive manner where she's developing friendships and alliances that are an advantage um, in a social sense as well as a resource sense for both you and her, where you're included in this stuff, not where she has secret social circles of male orbiters, okay? That's not what, that would be something you wanna vet against, 
But what you want to look for, though, a woman who has good friendships, healthy friendships, in circles with couples, single people, men, women, and they're not sexual, they're platonic, and, and you know, she is including you or having you be a part of those circles, that demonstrates somebody who has good social abilities, that's a green flag, okay, that's a good thing. And there's a clear difference between someone who is signaling for sex in these circles and someone who is signaling for social acceptance, which is our two different drives, two different things. So. Cutting off her social circles is not good, all right? We, and I talk about frame control, I talk about mental isolation more than, and not physical isolation. Mental isolation is voluntary and it's a good thing. That's where you believe that your relationship and she believes that you and the relationship you have with her is better, more special than anything she could have with anybody else. That's a, tr a form of isolation, right? Um, and, and that's okay, that's good, all right? But that's not an actual physical isolation where she doesn't interact with other people. So going out with friends without you, that sh it should be allowed and that should be fine and that's a healthy behavior. There's a difference though between going out with friends without you because she's fostering and, and feeding those those. Uh, social friendships and going out without you to signal to other men. There are a clear difference between the two and you need to recognize the difference. When she's getting, now women need to look good. I want, certainly want my woman or any woman I'm seeing to look good when she goes out, whether I'm there or not. She's a representation of me. I look good when I go out as good as I can, right? Because that's who I am, but she, she would want that, whoever I'm with, because I represent us. She doesn't want me looking like a slob and like a dork. You know, if she sees you as an alpha guy who's attractive, a woman doesn't want that from you. There's reasons why she beta ties guys and makes them look dorky, but that's a whole nother discussion. All right, but generally if she sees you as a alpha man, that she sees you as her best sexual option, she is a, you are a point of validation for her. So you looking good is a good thing for her. What she wants to be, a, because, especially because they're solipsistic, right? They see things through their own lens. So she wants to be a good source of validation for you. So she wants to look good. She wants to look good for you. She wants to look good and be accepted in social circles when, even when she's not with you. And that's okay too. But there's a difference between looking good and looking slutty. Looking good and sexually signaling to other men, right? There's a big difference between those two things. And you should be able to pick up and recognize what those differences are. <clears throat> and so when she's going out with a bunch of girls, who are the girls that she's going out with? Is she going out with girls who have relationships with other guys, who maintain commitments, do they support each other to maintain commitments and shame each other a little bit if they're not going to? Or are these girls who frequently cheat on their partners, support each other to do so? Hey girl, let's live our best life, you know, kind of stuff. Let's cover for each other if the other person does something wrong. Which kinds of girlfriends are these? When, wh what types of places are they going? to what are they doing if they're seeking if she's clearly seeking validation from other men that should be a hard stop for you this includes through social media social media is another good example some guys will say don't let your woman have a social media account i think that's a little bit crazy and controlling personally all right what's she doing i would love for her to i want her to have these things why because you <clears throat> you want to be able to see what she's her behavior is even when you're not around, let her go out because you want to be able to see through the residual effects what she's actually doing her behavior. If you give her the freedom, and as they say, if she's a person that's not capable of being in a relationship, you give her enough rope to hang herself in, she'll use the rope. Let her use it. Find out what she's made of. Don't try to control it. I have countless stories of women who were in usually tradcon kind of religious marriages, things like that, where they didn't have social media accounts, they were controlled, all this stuff, and they joined like support groups or charity groups or this and that and the other, and they're on seeking arrangements and finding guys to bang them. Or they're getting banged, you know, when the guy's at work. And they're doing things in secret, right? And so find out what she's made of and what she's inclined to do by allowing her to exhibit whatever behavior she wants to exhibit. 
You'll, she'll tell you whether you're her best sexual option based on how she behaves. And if she doesn't behave the right way, then you start, to, you start the process of discarding her in that relationship. So if a girl goes out on that girl's night out and she's clearly sexually signaling, maybe she comes home and you've packed your bag and you've gone away for the weekend. That would be an example. Maybe you say to her, you know what? Girls in a relationship aren't going out and trying to seek attention from other men. Just make a statement of fact. If she decides to go do that anyways, argue, sputter, you know, justify, and you start the process of separating yourself from that relationship. It starts off with nexting and soft nexts where you're going further amounts of time without being near her or with her. She asks what's wrong, what's going on. You can say, listen, I've told you and you are going out, you're sexually signaling, I don't know what's happening and I'm not okay with it. So I am not as emotionally drawn to you. These are true things. If she cares about you and cares about the relationship, she'll do things to remedy it. If she doesn't care, then she won't. And so, listen, a lot of you guys spend way too much time trying to keep a girl around that you shouldn't be keeping around. And so somebody who's out sexually signaling to other men, that's not somebody you should be keeping around. So provided that you're not being overly anxious, overly jealous, over controlling, and you're observing the behavior of just observe it. And if she's doing this signaling behavior and she's doing seeking attention from other men, that is the first step usually to doing actual cheating. Okay. Observe it, note it, and then start the process of exiting that situation. Now you should have already tested this out before getting into an LTR or a long-term relationship. If you didn't, shame on you. You'll do that next time. Don't give away your commitment till you know what she's made of. But you made the mistake, you're in a long-term relationship, doesn't matter. If she's not choosing you as her best, I don't care what resources you have tied up, how many kids you have with her, what's going on. You need to start the process of exiting that relationship. She will do, again, one of two things. She will stop her behavior and start to repair things with you or she won't care she and she will disregard you if she disregards you then she is not somebody that you want in a relationship could i teach you skills to try to game her and this and that and so forth yeah i could but usually guys when the guys do get these women to kind of it's only temporary when it's time to cheat they'll actually cheat and it's, and, and it's this nightmare scenario where this guy now has to manage and monitor all, the, all of her behaviors all the time. And it's, it's ridiculous and it's exhausting. If you're listening to my channel and you're listening to this video right now, you're also a guy who wants to do, its best, do the best for himself, chase excellence, and succeed and do amazing in life. Not just with women. And so you're not going to succeed and do amazing in life if you're wasting your time monitoring some chick's behavior because she cannot handle herself. That's just a BS situation to be in. So you need to exit that. Some of you guys, again, spend way too much time on women that you shouldn't be spending that much time and effort on. That's it, okay? Yes, if she is going on the infamous girls' night out, that's, you know, then you set your standard and maybe her stuff is packed when she comes home. That's a famous example. Or you go away for a weekend or you begin the process of nexting her. But you do that when she's sexually signaling for other men, to other men. She's, she's showing those behaviors. When that's what she is doing, that's when you execute that step. If you're observing her going out with friends groups and it's platonic and it's healthy, that's a different story. And then that should actually be enhancing your relationship. She should be including you in much of these things. The reason you're not with her is because you had other plans or you're working or something like that. Not because you were excluded so she could signal to guys. You get what I mean? So a woman with healthy social relationships, healthy friendships, and that's to include males or females. Don't get too hung up on that stuff. You'll know and be able to note her behavior if she's pining for a guy or not. Okay, but those healthy social relationships are good. Support those. Don't socially isolate her because you're going to end up with a needy and an unhappy woman in your house. All right. That being said, though, let her go. 
let her do what she's going to do, and then you action your standard accordingly. Don't try to control a woman because it's only going to fall apart eventually. Let her do what she's going to do, and you set the frame, you bring her into your frame, and she either will stay there comfortably and be happy, or she's not going to be capable of doing that. And if she's not capable of being in your frame, there's no use for you to waste your energy banging your head against the wall trying to get this girl to be faithful and loyal to you. Just get rid of her. Thanks for the support, guys.